Hello and welcome to that double D team. It's your boy Digger. This is my top 10 favorite TV shows. Not in any order, but these are the best TV shows. Period. Forget what anyone else says. This is it. Starting off, number 10, Oz. This was very big on HBO. In fact, I think it kind of caught on late. I'm not too sure because I wasn't into it until probably like, I want to say 10 years, 20 years later, I got into it. But big show on HBO back in the day. Prison show, uh, experimental prison, I guess. They have inmates in little glass boxes and it's prison life, but it's just with a twist on it. And... Your actors from your favorite TV shows, they most likely started on Oz or they passed through it at, at one point in their lives. And awesome show. Acting from everybody. There's so many characters I can't even think of. Them. <laughs> like, there's just so many. But, um, yeah, it ran about six years, I want to say. You know, as, well, I can't say all shows, but I want to say towards the end of it, say the fifth, sixth season, it kind of died down. A lot of the Stars, you know, their characters start dying, get you know, getting killed off, you know, prison life, and um, you know, the show kind of just dried out. And the way they ended it was like, oh my god, I can't believe they did that, but you know, I guess they knew where the show was going, so they ended it like how they did. But um, my number 10 show, Oz, check that out. I got the box set, it's dope. Um, number nine, um, I went with Better Call Saw for the simple fact that. Um, the writers on their next levels, they are witty. They're just, they're, they're on point with it. I like the writing on it. This is kind of a slow burner at first, but when it picks up, it's off and it's gone. So you have to keep up, as they say. From the same writers as the um, Breaking Bad, you know, which Saul is the lawyer from Breaking Bad. He has his own spinoff, which is, I thought was great. My mom started watching the um, Breaking Bad and she fell in love with Saul before she even knew where the show was going. And I'm thinking, wow, man, this is only season three, you know? But, um, yeah, dope, dope show. Um, it's actually going right now. That's another thing. Most of, the song, most of the shows on my list are shows that I've finished. I only have a couple shows that are still running, which I think that they're still running is showing how much potential they have to be classics. So, yeah. Number nine, Better Call Saul. <clears throat> Number eight, Power. This show kind of came out of nowhere, like on me. Like I didn't think it would do what it was, what it would do, because it was kind of competing with um, Empire. And I was watching Empire at first, you know, like the first season. I thought it was okay. It was too much singing going on. I'm not really into that whole, you know, West Side Story. Just everyone just wants, you know, starts singing and dancing. It's, not really into that, but it was all right. And then I got into power. And I'm thinking, yo, it's so gangster. And you know what? There's no singing, no dancing in it whatsoever. And like everyone just getting money or just getting clapped. So I thought that was dope. You know, 50 Cent was in it. He starred in it. He said, he said it's like his little baby, his little protege. And, you know, he popped up as a character on the show, Kanan, a ruthless guy who's like Craven. The hunter, if he grew up in the hood, <laughs> he would be Kanan. <laughs> you know what? I could see it. Picture Craven. Picture Kanan. Yeah, that's Sorry, it. Kanan, you know? and Kanan. Kanan and Craven, you know? Mink Coat. You know, Mink Coat. He got the real lion fur on him right there. But, um, yeah, it's a dope show. We got big cast, characters, Tommy, Ghost, Tasha, uh, Pff, Tariq. Raina. <laughs> What's the other one's name? <laughs> Baby girl. <laughs> Angie, Angie Martinez in it, or she's called Um name? Lala. <sighs> Got Lala in it. Yeah. Good show. Good writing. Well, writing's pretty good. I think it has potential to be one of the greats in all due time. Moving on, number seven, 
Boardwalk Empire. Oh my days. Where do I start with this show? This was 1920, 1930 at its finest. New Jersey, the Boardwalk, the Prohibition era. Um, you have Nucky Thompson. Steve Buscemi. Steve, Steve Buscemi. Like, he, he made that role his own. Even though it's a true story off, off of off of a, a certain person, I feel like Nucky Thompson is Steve. You know, like incredible writing. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, Scorsese he wrote the first the pilot episode. Executive produced. Executive, executive produced it. Mark Wahlberg hopped on the wave because he knows good shit when he hears it, when he sees it, and he hopped on the wave later on, and he helped build the show up some more. But um, the show was good. There's um I can't remember my guy's name Michael Michael something he plays Omar on sure. the wire oh no um he popped up as Chalky Chalky White <laughs> black man named Chalky that's and he was in he don't take no shit Chalky will put a bullet in you quicker than quick just remember that but, um dope show big characters um my guy from um. The Irish boy from from the Deadpool, he popped up in it. Daredevil. No, not not Deadpool. Daredevil. Oh, I didn't even people was him until, yo. Bad man. Yo, he Irish was. Hitman. He was the one. He was putting bodies down. Speaking of the Marvel Netflix connection, Sharky's um, nemesis become boy. Is Luke Cage's brother. Yeah. See that. One big twist. Basically, all these TV shows, the characters, they all run through it at one point or another. Chucky's main, um, Chucky's main villain, though. Mm. The other guy. Yeah, educated person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Played by Jeffrey Wright. Mm. Yeah, he was in... Very, um, very good actor. He was in um, Casino Royale. Where he popped up in that one, and the second one, and the one after that, Skyfall. Popping off the show. Yeah. Yo. Show's dope. Boardwalk Empire. Like, if you haven't seen it, I say get on to it. It's like six seasons, five, six seasons. Five, six. was tied up nicely. Succinct like, story done. I loved it. I showed my, I put my mom onto it. My mom watched it. She loved it. And she was like, there's something going on. Something a little weird between that boy and his mom. <laughs> my mom peeped in. And I'm like, when I really, I thought so too. And then I stopped watching, I was like, <gasps> but yo, Boy White Empire. It's number seven. Number six, Peaky Blinders. This is a British show, and um, one thing I could say could be better about this show. The show is dope, but it's a British show, and they they stick to their six episodes a season, which is good writing. Me got you wanting more, but I feel like it was a good ten episodes. Boy, so much can get explained. Like imagine no, board, no filler, no ima filler episode, imagine man. Peaky Blinders ten episodes strong each season. You know, she will be dead. <laughs> like that show is that show is gangster. Like, if you didn't think they get it in in the UK, like the same time as Boardwalk Empire, I guess it takes place like the same time as Boardwalk Empire, just in the UK. And pff. well, season four, oh, it's yeah. gone. Yeah, it's the link at the end, isn't it? To the import business to New York, and yeah. is it the Luciano family? Yeah, so they mix it so. The later seasons, they're going to show. This show is still rolling. It's still continuing right now. And it's going to show the the crossover. Because you know, at one point, um, the Americans were getting their alcohol from England and Canada and stuff like that. So this is a good way to bring it in and show the Shelbys. Shelbys? <laughs> Gangster family. They don't take no shit. Thomas fucking Shelby. Remember when my uncle, it's like this. I'm like... <sighs> Finger boy, you're gonna lose it. But yo, that show is that show is dope. If you haven't yeah. seen it, Awful. get yeah. onto it. The whole family, the sisters, the children, the nephew, like the whole family's affiliated and they all get it in and they play by their own rules. Alfie. Peaky Blinders, my number six choice. My number five choice here is um a show that came out recently. I see this show has has a lot of potential to grow and be a lot bigger than sliced bread, kind of. That's big, but the show is big. My number five goes to Donald Glover and the show Atlanta. The show is 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 amazing. 
it's only been two seasons, which is crazy because, you know, it's only been two seasons, but the show's, <laughs> the show's a lot. I could break down every episode. In fact, we actually did break down every episode. So if you want to go check that out, we got videos for all that, all up in the description. But yeah, um, every episode, especially season two, it, it's just different. It, it's like old school Tiny Toons, the cartoons. Every episode is just something different. It's not actually following the story, which it actually was in a way, but it wasn't. But yeah, it, it's a lot. Great writing, funny. It's a lot of drama in there, serious issues being talked about. And, you know, and I think we need to have more shows like it. It's it's funny, but it makes you aware of stuff. Can't be, can't, you know, you can't hate on that. That's my number five show, Atlanta. Uh, number four, Sons of Anarchy. <sighs> Boy, I can't even ride a motorcycle. And I want to. <laughs> Whenever I watch that show, I feel like I am I am there. I'm down to put the work in. I'm trying to get this money. I got to report back to Jax. And then, you know, we got to make this flip. You know, now the show's dope. It's a biker gang from California, Northern California. And um, it's just it's, it's just good writing. I, I, love, I love shows like that with great writing. You know, they got me hooked in from the first first episode till season i'm pretty sure it ends at like seven. six seven so it was a, it's a lot of episodes and a lot of shit cracks off in it you know mdk but it's how bikers get down so uh, jacks you're on jacks this is the don yeah charlie hunnam. jacks what's his name charlie hunnam. charlie hunnam king arthur king arthur i didn't know him i i knew him from on um, green street the movie, he was like the, the leader of the GSC, GSC, Green Street Elite, yeah, GSC, GSC. He was in that too, he was a you know, big character. He was also like, you know, King Arthur, that new one. What's the guy, Guy Ritchie made that one, that was dope. But yeah, um, some of the anarchy, he was the vice president and he moved his way up the ranking to president and he ran his club with the iron fist. Um. I've never seen him lose a hand fight. I, I think he can actually fight in real life. To see him hold his own on the TV show. And the show is so dope. They made a spin-off. Now remember this. If the show ever has a spin-off, that means the original is dope. Okay? Any show that has... Majority of shows. Let's not get it fucked up now. The majority of shows that have spin-offs, they're dope. And you got... Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad has got Saw. Friends. Friends has what? Joey. Oh, Friends had Joy, but Joy wasn't no, all that. We're Joy. not saying the spin-offs were always yeah, good, but the but, originals are always cool. Yeah, the originals are always dope. And um, Sons Jones. of Anarchy is dope, and it has a spin-off, Mayans. If you haven't seen Mayans, watch it. The first season just wrapped up. You know what? Three days after I watched the end of... Totally different story. Three days after I watched the end of um, Mayans, I was like, damn, happy. <laughs> Still, sitting in my room, just like... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> like it just it fucks with me, man. But um Sons of Anarchy has a lot of lovable characters. If you invest your time watching from the beginning to end, there's a lot of invest like lovable characters who are actually hard and killers. But we don't see them like that. We just see the people providing for their club, you know? Do everything for the club. One of them actually pops up in the MCU Netflix as well, isn't it? Luke Cage, uh Juice. Oh yeah. Shades. Juice pops up. Juice is in um he's a I don't want to give too much away, but Juice is a member of the, of the club, and he gets into a lot of shit. But I suggest you watch that. That's a very dope show, Sons of Anarchy. That's my number four. Moving down, or moving up on the list, yeah. Number three, Breaking Bad. Now, you all know that my boy D and JD are doing their list. And I'm pretty sure Breaking Bad pops up in one in their list, too. If not, it should. But Breaking Bad, probably one of the best shows I've seen in a very, very, very long time. Written really well. The character progressions, you just see people who you thought, oh, they're all right. And then by the end of the show, you're thinking, no, I don't like you. And people who I thought, like, yeah, you're all right. At the end, I'm thinking, like, yo, I hope you survive. You know, people you just, show's crazy. It's crazy. But once again, it's, it's about meth, you know. Drugs, making money in in Mexico, in um, New Mexico, uh, 
a teacher, cancer patient. It's a lot. Now, there was a story, it's a little joke, that they say that if Breaking Bad took place in Canada, it would have been like 15 minutes. You would have found out he had cancer, and it would have been like, you just went to the hospital and got treated, and you wouldn't have to do nothing else, because it's Canada. <laughs> Shout out to the Canadians. Do you have a little rumor in it with um, the blue meth shows of him? Oh, yeah. Him That's another thing. Like, the show was so, the show was so influential in so many ways. They actually crossed over. Like, just random things just crossed over into, like, other shows. For instance, my boy just mentioned the blue meth, the, the meth, the method of meth that the main character used to make. It crossed over into another show, The Walking Dead. One of the characters was looking through his pouch and he had pills and weed and coke. And you see a bag of blue meth. Well, to me, it looked like millions, like the sweets, but we knew what it was, you know? It's blue sky. So... You know, all from the same network, innit? The same network, AMC. They don't play around, man. Mm. So you know how they get down. No. They should have done it. What did um community say? Six seasons in the movie? It's just been announced, hasn't it? The Jesse thing, isn't it? I thought it was some fan shit because I see a lot of fan stuff. But I've just I, wait, wait, folks. I have just heard that they are announcing a movie. Yes, that's correct. A Breaking Bad movie. We're gonna put a rush on that one. We're gonna come back to that. Is there a trailer for it? Oh no, you just announced it. Just announced it. So when there's a trailer or something pops up, yo, come to this channel because we definitely will have some reviews, some reactions, and all types of shit for that one. Because that's just breaking news right there. Did you see my face when I found out? Snapshot it, bring it back, put it right there, right now. Bob, check there. that out. But yo, um, Breaking Bad, probably one of the greatest shows I've seen in the past 10 years. When did it come out? Ten about ago. 10 years ago I see how that is we just had the I think it was the 10 year anniversary at Comic Con recently for the panel all back together see that 10 years that was off the dome but that's my number 3 my number 2 is a funny one um because I got into it late I remember seeing it when I was younger but I didn't really you know it was a little bit it was a little too mature for me at the time so I got older and I had to get back into it and stuff like that but um it's The Sopranos <sighs> that show is that show is something else um to this day I don't like New Jersey for certain facts about Sopranos but um yo that show is gangsters about the mob and how they operate and you find out everybody's snitching that's what Tony says everyone's snitching so they go on vacation. But um, great show, great writing. I think this is probably one of the only shows that didn't slack going towards the end of the season. Like the series, when it finished, it, it still held it up the whole way to the end, I think, anyway. So we've both seen the show. Yeah. I'll probably go into it on my review. Yeah. The ending. Yeah. Like it, dislike it. I thought it was okay. Because Breaking you know, Bad was thumbs up. I hated Breaking Bad's ending. You, you hated it. I thought Frank, I thought he should have been on the run. Don't die like that. You didn't catch a slug like that. I thought it tied the story up very nicely. And because of what happened to him. Oh um, yeah, it tied up everything nice. But I thought like, yo, he could have did more. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'll go into more into my review as well. Because you know? I personally, I liked Breaking Bad's. Didn't like Dexter's. Yeah. Sopranos Texas was good but I was I in like between like you I felt it left it open ended for you to make your own interpretation yeah. and, and besides like before I haven't seen the end of Sopranos I've seen Family Guy and they bust the reference they did basically the same thing at the end of Sopranos that they did in Family Guy Family did the same thing so, and I actually seen um, Family Guy like years before I seen Sopranos so when I seen it I was like oh that's from Family Guy and I'm like hold on wait that's it like alright so I just roll next split and I just so, Inception is ending. Now, we talked about this, did we talk about this? Yeah, I'm going to go into it in my film list, um, but because I think it's a similar thing where it's left it open-ended for the viewer to interpret it. Now, I liked it in both instances, but did you like it for Sopranos, but not for Inception, or vice versa, or what? I thought, I thought Inception was alright too. I thought it was like, yeah. The ending. Yeah, it was like... So both were just... But okay I, th I, th I think... I was a little bit more like 
more questionable about Inception. Because Sopranos is like everyone's chilling, eating food, everyone's having a good time. It's uh, that's cool, left on a cool note. But this right here is like, yo, this shit is still spinning. Well, I think the opposite. I think Inception tied up very nicely because it made it very blatant with the wobble. Mm. What what the outcome was, whereas with Sopranos, you never knew whether what would just because like the the final moments were mm. building up, but when it was someone about to come in and shoot the family up, or Tony. And that's See, why it left it open ended in that way, or was or was she, Meadow just getting a normal call and stuff? Was something like that going to happen? See, so now I thought they left it a lot more open ended with Sopranos. Now I thought somebody would have came through and just wet the whole house up, but I thought they would have done that a little bit earlier. I don't think they would have left it to the last second. I thought they would have well, had like that's why somebody from like the crew coming around and seeing Tony's whole family laid out. That's if they would have done it a little bit earlier. That they had like. A minute or so. So that's them deciding the ending for the viewer rather than the viewer choosing True. what you are in True. True. So I like True. the way they left it open ended. See that? But I thought it was more open ended in Sopranos rather yeah. than Inception. I thought Inception's left it a little open ended, mm. but because of the wobble, yeah. I thought it was definitive what was the ending. Right. To be fair, I still think that he was still dreaming in yeah. Inception. That's mad then, really. well, not mad, but like, we both got, yeah. Sif and Gunner, both, think... both really loved the wait, shows. Wait, wait, Inception, Inception, he was with his kids at the end, right? Yeah. Okay, because we, we all know that his, wait, see that? I'm thinking about the next fucking, fucking movie, where he fucking killed his wife for killing his kids. Oh. So we, we had a, we had a discussion out. about this a while ago as well, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, I gotta watch it again. Because then, but... even though I think that way, yeah. there's still ideas as well, because the kids are at the same throughout the whole film that they've never raised, that... Yeah. He's still dreaming because that's the only time he's ever saw him. So it yeah, can go either see. ways, man. But I like the way they left it open for interpretation. See that? That was my number two. Sure. <laughs> Sopranos. But yeah, him bringing up the whole ending of that, that show, that, that was pretty dope. I actually think, I thought about it, but I like, actually forgot about it. But that would have been dope if they, if they all got killed at the table, dinner table. Or maybe not all, maybe just Tony, or maybe someone. But... You can't come in and just kill Tony. There's witnesses. You know how Italians get down. The whole family got to go. But anyway, that's Sopranos. If you haven't seen it, check it out. My number one, number one, number one. I don't know if I said number one, put two fingers up. Don't watch that. Number one <laughs> is The Wire. The Wire is The Wire. The Wire is, is The Wire. It's. I know people personally who have used The Wire to the, and used this, the shit they see on The Wire to the hustling tactics on the streets. If that's not something, then I don't know what is. Because basically the show is written by police. So if you're doing something, that means the police already know about it. But the show, is so the show is dope. It shows life in Baltimore, from the street life to the dock life to the street life again to the children in the schools to the the mayor and the the politics, the, politics, the, newspapers. the newspapers. It goes everywhere, and. Baltimore is a beautiful city. I say that because the wire makes Baltimore seem like a piece of shit. Like if you go around to West Baltimore, you're thinking, "Yo, I am not, <laughs> I am not chilling around here." But Baltimore is a beautiful city, beautiful culture, and all that type of stuff. But um, the wire is probably one of the best. It's been in my list for like the past ten years. Longer. Bro. Longer, exactly. It's been in my list for a long time. Told me about years. it about ten years. Yeah, ago. I told him about it ten years ago. <laughs> Took you know? me about three years to, to get round to it, but yeah. But yeah, really. I know. Fuck, you know. But yeah, The Wire, that's my number one. The, the best show ever from the characters from, um, who's it? Avon Barksdale, String of Bell, um, Marlo Stanfield, Omar. Oh, wow. Omar only got one name. He has a last name, but his last name doesn't matter. We know him as Omar. Omar coming, you know, you got the, 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 the hustlers on the streets, D'Angelo, um, Weebay, the shooter. Put Idris on the map. Yeah, Idris was already doing his thing, but when people seen that, people knew who he was after that, and I thought he was American. When I when I heard him speak, I was like, "What's wrong with his voice?" Phenomenal actor. He fooled me. <laughs> you British motherfuckers, you guys are good. <laughs> he gonna be a star. You know, <laughs> he gonna be a star. But um, yeah, The Wire, great writing, great acting, um. They did their research. They they actually did their research before they even did the show. They really did. They got... Pfft. If you haven't seen The Wire, 
I suggest you check it out. Every show, every movie, everything, you check it out. It's your boy Digger, Double D Team. Peace.